Hey guys, it's us. We're in the Uber on the way to the Australian Sensation Outback Steakhouse. Super excited. Hope you guys got a chance to look at the ads. Uh, they're hilarious. But uh, I'm going to be putting together a compilation video, so enjoy what's ahead. <laughs> So we made it to Outback Steakhouse, Puerto Vallarta. Emily, how are you feeling? Feeling very excited. Yeah. I'm very hungry. How hungry are you? Like. Hungry. Yeah. What do you think you might get? I really want ribs. Yeah. And French fries. And mashed potatoes. And mashed potatoes. I want potatoes three ways. Potatoes three ways. Yeah. It's my first Outback Steakhouse, so okay. I'm ready to get into it. Okay. Here we are, we're making it in. In the event that you ever wanted to call this particular branch, there you go. All right, looks like it's a poppin' night. They got the game on, as you'd expect. And just for you boys right here, a little reminder of what this night's all about. Celebrating Australia. Crazy Friday, ribs and beer every Friday. Let's do it. Ooh, cool. After you, enjoy. Gracias, gracias. All right, gentlemen, so upon arrival at the door, we checked in for our table for two. We got two samples of the sangria, white and red. Uh, and then we just got sat down to our booth. And as you can see here, still got the game on. The Australian flag is in the other corner. Uh, very exciting. And the decor. It looks like it's going to be quite the Australian Applebee's experience. <laughs> gentlemen this is allegedly the big bloke beer which is 22 ounces which if you remember from our conversion conversations is actually just an English pint or a standard like half liter that you guys normally drink so it's really just a regular blokes beer so are there many Outback Steakhouses in New Jersey well, growing up, I always saw the ads, um, and there wasn't one close by within, like, probably, there wasn't one within, like, 45 minutes. And then, like, shortly after I went to college, I remember hearing rumors that there was one being built down on, like, 46 or something, which was, like, maybe 45 minutes away from home, and I, like, completely missed out, and then every time I wanted to go, nobody ever wanted to drive that far to go check it out. When I went to college, there were Outback Steakhouses, but they were like way off campus and out in the suburbs. I didn't have a car, and the buses in Ohio suck. So I couldn't go then. And then, you know, traveled around, left. Obviously, it's a very American thing, and I just never really got a chance to uh, to get my blue and onion until today. So this is a beautiful first, and I'm happy to share it with you. Um, 
and also share with you boys as well an authentic Australian experience. Cheers. What are we getting? It's a really good question. I know, well, it's beer and, was it ribs and beer Friday, crazy Friday. We will get this Bloomin' Onion. The Bloomin' Onion, of course, that's the Outback Steakhouse authentic special plate. Never knew it existed. <laughs> the Bloomin' Onion? Yeah. <laughs> now we will get the Kookaburra wings. Made with real Kookaburra, 100%. Made with real kookaburra. Is it organic though? Are they free range Kookaburra? <laughs> Those seem really Australian and authentic. Let's do that. I mean, if we have leftovers, whatever. I mean, if we have leftovers, whatever. I mean, if we have leftovers, whatever. So yes, we're trying to. Keep coming. We're trying to assess what's the most authentic Australian thing on here. There's steaks or salads. Weirdly, there's clam chowder, which is something that I typically have only seen like the Northeast. Um, do you guys eat a lot of clam chowder? Is it like a thing? They also have chicken fried steak, which I don't know. I was pretty much under the assumption that Australian food always came on white bread. Sausage on white bread, toast sandwiches, etc. Beans on toast. Um, so I'm very confused. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to figure it out and then we'll let you know of our decision once we get there. Ooh, bread. Yes. Had to go for the clam chowder. So, now that you've tasted the Bloomin' Onion, what are your thoughts? So, I'm a bit conflicted. How's that? Because as much as I thought it was going to be different than onion rings, and I'm a bit disappointed, I, I cannot stop eating. So, <laughs> I don't know. So, is it more... <laughs> like, I was a bit disappointed because I just thought it was going to be, like, out of this world. But it, there's, like, something about it that's just really good. So, uh, MSG. Yeah. So, Probably. I'm here for it anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's all I have to say about it. Fair enough. <laughs> How does it look? Delicious. Very excited. So you got ribs, fries, we got a leftover wing there. Corn. And they called it butter corn. Can you give it a bite and let me know if it is in fact butter corn? But is it buttery? That's the question. Buttery? Alright, that's what's left of our blue and onion. So I ordered the chamorro, which is a pork shank, which I'm almost positive is distinctly not Australian as it comes with a side of beans, and I believe these are tortillas. Mexican-Australian. They, they are, yeah. So this is Mexican-Australian fusion happening right here. <laughs> Hope you guys are excited to come visit Mexico. <laughs> Highly recommend the Outback Steakhouse. Um, definitely excited to continue eating. So gentlemen, we tried. Um, after the appetizer course, we kind of I would definitely say we over order, but I think it was just the excitement of being at what I'm assuming is a national staple in Australia um, just got the better of us. Um, quite a lot of leftovers, so we'll also just be able to see how this stuff keeps. Um, all in all, though, it is essentially an Applebee's that's Australian themed. That's all I gotta say about that. All right, guys, we kind of lied. We did order a shit ton, but there's always room for a little dessert. I got the Thunder from Down Under chocolate brownie with some sort of ice cream. I guess it's whipped cream, ice cream, brownie, and a nice little bullshit chocolate thing. She got a little stack of churros. 
Armenian. Exceedingly Australian. Whole nature of. Uh, with dipping sauces, caramel, and chocolat. I thought there was a third one, lemon curd, no? Yeah, but it's okay. Perfecto, muchas gracias. And of course, the Irish coffee. No, burrito, está bien, muchas gracias. And the Irish coffee to top off for dessert course. If this is what you guys do in Australia all the time, I'm very excited to visit you. What are your thoughts, Em? Very excited to try these churros. My first time as well having churros, so, so a lot of firsts today happening. A lot of firsts. A lot of firsts. First. <laughs> first churro at an Australian themed I mean, steakhouse like where neither drink. of us got steak. Perfect. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe come back again. <laughs>